Hello everyone. I'm back. Yes, finally I'm back. I have a desk as you can see and um, we are not living in the cramped studio hotel apartment anymore. So this this will be quite the chatty update of my current system, what I'm planning to change and um, yeah, just live things. And um, it's currently the 6th of uh, July when I'm recording this. I don't know when I will be uploading uh, as I've completely forgotten how to make and edit videos in the time that I was gone. And um, I have set up my computers several times new. So all the settings are gone. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. So anyway, I hope this works. So um, let's get into it. Um, this is basically all I've been using last time I have recorded. Um, sort of, I think uh, maybe two things are missing. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so my main planner was the Hobonichi Weeks. And I have been using it since uh, the start of the year until um yeah well until now basically so half a year and um i do kind of sort of enjoy it there's a little flip for you of the monthlies um as you can see i haven't used the monthly views a lot i've been just kind of like marking some important stuff this will be important later on the this are the weeks um my basically my main layout uh has not changed it's like appointments uh daily to do's like some info for the day a habit tracker a running to-do list uh, some memo space that I've sometimes used, sometimes I haven't, and um, my weekly tarot readings. Um, as you can see, I've been using it quite no, well. Two weeks is missing. That's the weeks that uh, we moved and um, <laughs> I was busy. <laughs> so, yeah, I just kind of, it kind of fell by the wayside. So, um, yeah, I've been using this uh, pretty regularly. Um, in the back pages, I just have some trackers like uh, bills and what I've read and stuff we've watched, which is also already four pages, and um, uh, purchases and stuff. I have some, some like. Uh, some pages left and I also have a insert which I have to use yet I have three of those I don't know what I'll be doing with them but yeah if you have noticed maybe if you have been watching me um, before this is a different weeks than the one I bought at the start of the year because the one I bought kind of just huh i've spilled on it four times coffee tea water what have you if you've been following me on uh, instagram you've seen it um it was kind of just a disaster so i changed to one that wasn't a mega since i uh decided to use a different uh, diary system than this one so I've bought one that has like this, let me just show you, uh, this light blue cover. And as you can see, I have spilled on this one too. So, uh, yes, I it wasn't as bad as the first one. So I did not 
buy a third one like i'm not made of money so yeah i did it was fine i just used it and um yeah but that's like the the weeks being cursed is not like my main issue with it um it's just i do not like the uh vertical layout I just I I just cannot with it. It is something I did say before I bought the week that I might uh, not like and I'm just trying it out. Um and I did. I really I really did for 6 months. And I I do not enjoy it. I <laughs> I do have a nice system I feel like with the how I like use the the things but like I just no it's just it doesn't work for me I I really tried I know I could have liked uh, flipped this like like so and used um the vertical but I didn't want to flip my pl and it's not working for me so I'm sorry if you hear my chair. I it's still my creaky creaky red chair. Anyway, so yeah, I um I don't like it. I will be uh doing something else and I will show you later. Now, my diary. I did start out in my old Hobonichi Weeks mega with uh putting the diary in, but like before I could complete like two days, I spilled on it. So yeah, anyway, I have, this is a diary. It's just a cover from a, uh, another notebook. And I've used those Splendorgel inserts by Impressions. And I just, I just use it as a one page a day diary but not every day i don't uh, and yeah i don't write in it every day and i haven't in a while because obviously i've been busy with the move and like just stuff anyway uh so when this is full i'll just change the insert and use another one it's very simple i like it i might down the road i might uh, integrate it in a travels traveler's notebook because i do like the size but uh for now it works this was my beautiful five-year uh midori diary i <laughs> i did start using it and i've completed like a few months i think yes four months and um i've stopped using it when he moved which is now like two months ago. So I haven't used it since. I might start again, but I don't I don't like not having two months, but we will see. I, I might start it again, or maybe I will start again next year, which is also fine. It is still beautiful. I still love it and I will not be getting rid of this. Um, the last thing is this family timer that i showed you before i'm sorry if you can't hear me my mic is kind of weirdly positioned um so this one i've showed you before i uh was um planning on using this as like a family thing that's lying on the kitchen table with like the budget and stuff to do for me and my husband and but anyway we didn't <laughs> we didn't use it um at, apart from like a, three months or so um because when it was lying on the um kitchen table uh n nobody was using it since in the new house which is the second house don't yeah. I might tell you at some point what happened with the first one. Anyway, um, we don't like gather in the kitchen because it's just so small. And um, I have a different system for it now. Now, what I, I think I also had a dream journal. 
uh, which was like a, just just some cheap uh, calendar thing. Uh, I haven't used it, so it's not this. I I've used it maybe two times or three times, but I'm when I wake up, I I'm not in the mood uh, to write stuff down. So yeah. <laughs> I'm just I haven't used it so this is uh, what I uh, showed you before what I will be still using is definitely this one and maybe this one so the diaries I will keep continue using and um, those two I am very sad that this did not work out for me because I love the size I I love the paper obviously I've, I've loved it for a long time but the layout is just not for me I'm sorry it's just I tried I've given it my best but like I just do not enjoy it so yeah what I will be um, doing what I'm doing instead of my family timer is actually this one it's a very cheap like weekly uh undated planner that just lies on the uh living room table this time because that's where we actually gather and it has like to do's and appointments for for me and for my husband especially my husband to uh, not forget so he can see it i am like it's undated so I'm putting in the um, days and blah myself and uh, it's just it was oh it was a cheap thing that I actually just bought grocery shopping uh, I cannot imagine it was more than five euro probably less so yeah it's it's nothing fancy it's just a uh, table calendar weekly overview which um, has where I can put important like notes a to-do list what's next week uh, weekly uh, targets or something um, like the birthdays that are coming up and like daily whatever um, yeah very simple I use it for mostly when the trash is do stuff I have to uh, do financially and when stuff happens or things that is important for my husband to know so yeah that's that's basically it now um, what I've uh, I've recently purchased is this <laughs> it's uh, it is very simple I have bought at Aldi <laughs> a three pack of notebooks and a two pack of like uh, thicker notebooks one of them being blank and one being squared and those are uh, dots dots lined I, I don't know what's it called anyway so you can see um, they were quite cheap those were both bo the three pack and the two pack were each three euro or something i i just can't i just don't want to afford anything else like currently so this is all i've been spending oh no i'm lying i also bought a bag of stickers also from aldi because I cannot like leave without getting the stickers if they have any uh, they were five maybe I don't know I, I don't know the prices right now I just put them in the cart and uh, with all my uh, food so yeah um, this one is what I will be using as a planner I've already calculated the days and um, months I will be using this very simply like a Hobonichi uh, but it doesn't have great paper but I don't care um, 
like a Hobonichi original A6 planner. However, uh, the months will be one page where I will just note down stuff that happens and then uh, one page a uh, per day. I'll, I'll show you later. I might be setting this up on camera. I might not. I don't know how long this video will be, so we will see. What I've also been using uh, is just a travel traveler's notebook, I guess, uh, in a six size with a few inserts that have like just just notebook style stuff. That's that I want to keep uh, handy. And this one is also on the table in the living room and I can just open it and note stuff down if I want to. So basically I the, the notebooks I, I probably won't be using currently. I have a lot, a lot of empty notebooks that I haven't used yet, but I couldn't just, it was three euro. I couldn't just <laughs> leave it there because it's very pretty and I might need it someday. I don't know. So yeah, anyway, that's what I am using right now. So um, that is basically my uh, planner portion of the video. Uh, if you're done watching, I hope you have a nice rest of your day or evening or morning, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll probably see you once more at least this year. <laughs> so yeah, or you, you will see my hands. Yeah. So um, live updates. Um, why I have been gone for so long. So initially we moved last year in August. And we were planning on uh, getting a house right away and just, you know, at most a month in a hotel, which, and we did find a house, but um, yeah, the house turned out to be, it, it was supposed to be renovated, freshly renovated. I don't know what they were thinking, but it was probably renovated in like the eighties or something like, I'm not kidding. It was horrible and it was moldy. It was wet and moldy and it looked like trash. We would have had to do a lot of renovations, like a lot, like completely the whole freaking house and uh, the attic and it, it was nice it was big but it was also very creepy um and um yeah it took forever for the uh the guy who was uh like the um manager a statement it's not an estate it's a it's a house um he was supposed to do a kitchen and um, fix the uh, uh, the basement, the wet basement, and he took forever. Nobody could get a hold of him. He was just not picking up his phone. He was just gone. Not even his employer could find him. He had like a old, old contract where he did not have, like, he was basically not uh, protected from being fired or something. So, yeah, uh, he was gone. She didn't do shit. And, like, he did, in the end, put in a kitchen, which was the tiniest freaking thing I have ever seen. Like, the uh, counter space was, like, this big. I kid you not, it was this big. And then we had the sink and the uh, stove top. And I was like, are you kidding me? I am not living here. It has black mold. It is wet. The kitchen is a disaster. We have to renovate everything. We have to fix the 
fucking wallpaper i'm sorry um and uh, like uh yeah it took months like the last um uh, like the last things we did there were in uh january like so the, the end of january and then we decided um so if if you've been counting that's like from august end of august till end of january we've been living in a tiny studio apartment in a hotel so i was doubly pissed like i was really really angry and um i have decided uh well we have decided but mostly it was me um that we are not taking this house and we will be searching for a different one and um as luck will have it i did find one we weren't sure well it i did find one and wrote the guy uh who was uh the landlord basically and uh but the um the listing went away because somebody wanted the house <laughs> uh so i was very sad because it was a really pretty house and it was in a budget slightly above but like mostly still on a budget and um uh it was pretty it was it had a yard and stuff and then it went away and i was devastated and um yeah anyway so it came back two weeks later it was suddenly back in the listing thing side whatever and i uh wrote him again and we he just squeezed us into uh as the first couple to uh uh to to view it to look at it he squeezed us in and we went there and they liked us and um yeah that's basically how we got this house but we had to wait until may so that was another like four months or something in in the hotel uh to wait for this house because the the previous uh tenants uh, haven't left yet so yeah um we had to wait so that uh all in all like 10 months at the hotel and uh was not pretty because it was very cramped i could barely film anything as you've seen i haven't really done much the stuff i did was just we had one table and it was my husband's working place my working place my altar we just had one table so yeah uh it was a nightmare but now we are here and i have finished the office and stuff and i've set my my things up and um i bought a table and um yeah i'm very happy that it worked out this way i i don't think i would have liked the other house because of just creepy spiritual things don't let's not get into it but like uh yeah i'm i'm pretty happy and um so yeah i will be setting this up i think on camera um i might just do it and flip through it it's um it will be very similar to a hobonichi a6 um, if you know that one, but with shittier paper and very cheap and I might next year, I might get something completely different, but like I said, um, Sally, it will not be a weeks anymore. I do like it. I really do, except for the layout, which is not, not my thing. And yeah, so yeah, um that was me and uh things that happened um i hope you could understand me i don't know how this this mic is yet um so yeah 
um i'll see you in the next video bye